Thank you. Uh, so good afternoon. I'm really pleased to uh, kick off what will be a, a really 15 rapid fire uh, presentations this afternoon. And I'm uh, pleased even after that rather gloomy introductory talk by Patrick, I think we can all go home now, but uh, perhaps not. Perhaps there's something to be um, rescued from this dire situation that Patrick has, uh, has outlined for, for us. Um, and uh, today I'd like to just toss a very simple idea um, onto the, the, the conversational heap uh, that we'll have today, and it's uh, around the future of the city. And my main idea is that the physical and demographic changes that are occurring in the so-called suburbs, not just of Vancouver, but of other uh, North American and global cities, including places like the city of Surrey, where I work, uh, constitute no less than a real shifting of metropolitan structure uh, and an opening of new global economic and cultural pathways and connection points, arrival districts that increasingly bypass uh, the central city. Recognizing this new reality, um, the city of Surrey and uh, UBC have have partnered together in the delivery of the first three years of the, the new Master of Urban Design uh, program. And so I guess the question is why Surrey? Why does it make sense for urban designers to concentrate and think about Surrey? Certainly Surrey is not Barcelona or Portland or Beijing or Vancouver, most of the poster childs of these kinds of discussions. Um, rather Surrey's stereotype and new reality are somewhat different, but I would submit that there are at least three reasons why Surrey is a really interesting case study and laboratory for urban design discussions. The first is that Surrey's rapid growth, about 3% per year, is occurring uh, in an era of globalization of these shifts that Patrick talked about uh, and the realization of the end of cheap energy, particularly cheap transportation energy. It gives us the opportunity uh, to really leverage this growth to create a new kind of suburb, a new kind of city. Uh, the second reason I think that Surrey provides uh, an interesting case study is that it's uh, perhaps a leading or one of the leading North American examples of a kind of a refashioning of a suburban structure, an automobile-oriented suburban structure, uh, into something much more interesting um, and uh, more urban. And the third reason is that although Surrey in some ways is unique, it's also a model for cities around the world undergoing uh, similar transformations. For Surrey, uh, why Mas why MUD? Why the Master of Urban Design uh, program's focus? For us at Surrey, the focused attention of young, bright, international students um, on our city opens up fresh perspectives on managing our growing pains, our inevitable growing pains that are inherent uh, in this uh, uh, really quite dramatic uh, metamorphosis. So in the short time that I have remaining, um, I'd like to take you on a little bit of a guided tour uh, to illustrate the scale and sweep of the transformation underway in Surrey and by extension in other similar cities. And this uh, will roughly follow a transect uh, from the, the new downtown, the core of Surrey, out towards uh, its edges. And the new city centre, um, which is illustrated on the right, and we've begun to build it. Um, two of the buildings on the, on the bottom image are built, the third is under construction. Um, is, is really anchored in the nexus of a transplanted civic heart, including a new city hall relocated from seven kilometers away into the city center, a new civic plaza for major public gatherings, a new central library as a kind of urban living room for the city, um, uh, and bracketed by a high density mixed use core, um, a transit hub of SkyTrain, a future light rail, and a major bus exchange, and an expanding university district all fueled by a new district energy utility and marked by the exuberant, um, forward-looking design aesthetic uh, illustrated here in the SFU Central City building uh, by Bing Tom, uh, coincidentally the same architect of the uh, structure that we're in today. And this building has served as a catalyst for the change in city centre and has, I think, really changed people's minds in places like Surrey about what their city uh, could become. The Civic Heart is reinforced by an emerging, uh, what we call Innovation Boulevard. It's a cluster of health and high-tech research and development and business incubation spaces anchored by the newly expanded uh, medical precinct, um, the uh, hugely expanded Surrey Memorial Hospital uh, and uh, ancillary spaces, uh, and uh, the uh, burgeoning university, uh, Simon Fraser University, Surrey. Moving outward from this core, Oh, and I should mention that the bottom two uh, buildings have been completed in the last year, and the um, upper image, uh, that building is in the ground or coming out of the ground. 
Uh, so this is, is real-time stuff. It's emerging. It's happening. Uh, moving outward, the city has asserted po uh, and positive, uh, a positive transit vision of radiating at-grade light rail lines, tying the disparate town centers and neighborhoods of the sprawling district together and converging at this core. Um, a transit system at grade uh, integrated into the fabric of the city, uh, not riding above it or burrowed beneath it. Along these corridors, work has begun to reorient neighborhoods around anticipated transit station locations uh, at a density and scale that supports rapid transit, while is also sympathetic to the established neighborhoods that uh, this line travels through. In new planned neighborhoods, the city is incorporating and encouraging new housing forms, at least new for suburban municipalities, um, and new forms of tenure, such as fee simple row housing, uh, manor houses, stratified and rental, uh, coach houses, carriage houses, uh, to meet the needs of changing household uh, structures, often driven um, by immigration patterns. The city is also beginning to develop conversations and policy around the sensitive infill of first-generation automobile-oriented suburbs into more complex, layered, and yes, denser configurations, while also knitting together a network of green infrastructure, riparian corridors, wildlife refugia, wetlands. Places like Surrey haven't paved over all of their green space. We have an opportunity to knit together these green spaces into um, a biodiversity uh, network. In Surrey's case, this includes acquiring and setting aside about 3,000 additional acres of land um, at a cost of over a billion dollars over the next 30 years uh, to, try to try to create this integrated green network. And new neighborhoods are being designed and built around this green infrastructure, uh, including pedestrian bridges over ravines as a way of allowing both the connectivity of human pathways and natural pathways simultaneously. And finally, demographic shifts in places like Surrey have been as dramatic as the physical transformation. I think Doug Saunders last night made the point that almost all immigration to Canada is now immigration that is moving to peripheral um, municipalities rather than central cities. Uh, and that's been true in Surrey as well. And uh, there's been uh, an active renegotiation of the opportunities and the tensions involved in the ways in which these new communities form themselves, in the ways in which they reshape their domestic space, and in the ways in which uh, they reshape uh, public space. There's a lot of debate in Surrey, for instance, around the housing type shown on the, the bottom right, which is a housing type that is appropriate to multi-generational families, but is perhaps uh, novel and even disconcerting for uh, residents of established neighborhoods where the idea of the nuclear family is, is the norm. So all of these things together, uh, including uh, uh, very different kinds of places, lead me to suggest that the metropolitan structure is being uh, reformed, refashioned. So a few days ago, I saw this ad uh, in the Georgia Strait for a new development. It's actually in East Van, or Mount Pleasant, I think it is, uh, that proclaimed that the center of the city just shifted. And I'd submit that uh, the sorts of wholesale transformations, changes uh, occurring in Surrey indicate that perhaps the center is shifting a lot further than we may think. Thank you.